mountainside is great, isn't it? If I could tell my younger self when I started painting eight years ago, things that I would have her do differently, here are the top three. The first one would be, I started out purchasing acrylic paint, oil paint, watercolor, pastels, anything having to do with art. And it was just an overload. It was a ridiculous expenditure. I know it's different for everyone and we all have different types of art that appeal to us. But just personally, if I could speak to me, I would say, Tori, focus on acrylic paints, get slow dry medium, learn to slow down the drying time so it will be more like oil. So you'll have those options. I would have limited myself to one medium and would have spent more time perfecting that one type of painting. Number two, I think because of my great love for color, I would go into an art store and I would look at hundreds of tubes of paint and I was just so overwhelmed by the beauty of it. It was like eye candy for me. So I found myself buying every possible color under the rainbow rather than buying the basics, the primary colors, and learning how to mix paint. And I got really lazy with that. It was not a habit that I started from the beginning. Even if I had started out with eight or nine tubes of paint and had just mixed everything from that, I wish I had done that. I would tell that to my younger self because I've never really developed that mastery of color. The number one thing I would say to my younger self, and gosh, I wish I had started out doing this. I love gigantic, dramatic paintings. The problem was I wanted to start out doing gigantic paintings instead of doing small studies, instead of painting on a daily basis on little bitty canvases. I would paint on these ginormous canvases. I didn't know what I was doing. There was this huge investment of time and money that I felt was wasted where I should have been focusing on little bitty paintings until I perfected it enough where I could then confidently go up to a larger size canvas. I wish I had done that. Hindsight's great, but maybe you'll learn something from my mistakes. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, would you consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing? It would go a long way in helping this channel. Also, if you'd like more instruction and in-depth workshops, check out my website, victoriahagemanart.com. There I have some very inexpensively priced courses and shorter tutorials. You can also see paintings that I have that are available for sale. 25% of my painting sales go to build water wells through hydrating humanity. Thanks a lot. God bless.